What up guys, it's you here, and today I'm bringing you guys a gameplay from Black Ops, and in this particular game, I'm playing uh, some free-for-all on Cracked, and I am going to be using the Ballistic Knife, and this is not a live commentary, and it's not part of the series. If you guys have um, watched any of my previous videos, um, or subscribed to my channel, this is not a, uh, like, I don't know, part of the series with the uh the black live commentary black ops knifing ffas that's a separate separate thing i just uh i just wanted to uh you know i was playing free for all right and i i was in this lobby a previous previous few games or so and i was absolutely wrecking the kids in the lobby so i decided you know what let me take out my blizzard knife i didn't really feel like doing a live commentary at that point but and it's probably best that i didn't because i you know, I, I actually win the game here, so it's uh it's I think this is my first first ever gameplay where I've actually won with the Blizzard knife, so I thought it was pretty pretty nifty. So yeah, right here I'm trying to uh, attract the dude over by shooting. Um maybe he'll run to the red dot with some uh and I blow him up with C four. But anyways guys, so I wanted to um, talk a little bit about, uh, well actually I haven't done like a real commentary in a while, you know, I, I, I've i done like a, well I don't know if, about a while, but I think the majority of my past videos have been, um, have, what, what have they been, the live commentaries, the which, which I think are pretty cool, but I don't know, sometimes, I don't know, maybe you guys just want a normal commentary where I'm talking like real talk, you know what I'm saying? No, but no, but seriously, I I thought I figured you know I'd change it up a little bit. Let me do a commentary. And this dude, this dude, this was a fail nade. Look at this. He tried to throw it up the stairs, and it hit the stairs, and that's why it killed me. That that was so baloney. I was I was raging hardcore in this in this game. But so I want to talk a little bit about the um I don't know some upcoming games you know uh that are that are coming up. So I figured. You know, I'd talk a little bit about the games I'm excited for. I don't know if you guys want to comment in the comments being like, you know, maybe some games you're excited for. I don't know. Or don't comment, you know. It's whatever. But, so, some of the games that I wanted to, or that I'm going to be getting um, this 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 fall are going to be... Now, these are just the ones I'm I, off the top of my head. I'm not really sure if I'm... But... Uh, about all the games that are coming out, but some of the ones off the top of my head are, uh, let's see, uh, Borderlands 2, um, Black Ops 2, and uh, Halo 4, and so, not necessarily in that, oh, I'll, I'll, let me see, let me see, I'll rank them, I'll rank them, probably, probably what I'm most excited for is Halo 4, and then, after that, probably next, Borderlands 2, and then Black Ops. But yeah, Black Ops is the last Black Ops 2. Just because I'm kind of kind of done with Call of Duty, to be honest. But, you know, I, I, I just... I don't know. I was uh, playing some M-Dub, M-Dub 3 yesterday, and I couldn't play more than five minutes of that game. Uh, I just, like, <laughs> was raging hardcore. And I'm pretty sure it had something to do with, um, you know, since I don't play Call of Duty very often anymore... Uh, Modern Warfare 3 is just not as, I don't know, I get maybe easy is the correct term, I don't know if that's easy, and I don't know if this dude rage quit, because I kind of just hit around that corner and waited for him to come by, but not sure if that happened, but that was pretty funny, that the host migrated right when I, right after I killed him, but I'm not sure if it, MW3 is as easy as the previous Call of Duties, because you know, whenever I play Black Ops, it's pretty freaking easy to go, uh, get a gameplay and Modern Warfare 3 I don't know it's just the way the the pace of the game or or whatnot but you know I just have a ton of trouble playing that game and actually going positive so yeah but I mean if you if you look at my KD it's you know it's pretty positive but just recently it was probably just because of my lack of play of Call of Duty but you know what that's this that's a little rant that's a little off topic you know I don't want to talk about that Call of Duty you know that's a that's a sore subject, you know what I'm saying? So, um, so uh, my my favorite games, if you don't remember, after my Call of Duty rant, they were uh, Halo 4, 
Borderlands 2, and then um, Black Ops 2. So, Halo 4, I was, the very first game I played on Xbox Live was Halo 3. And that game was like, consumed a boatload of my, my life. It's probably like, you know, I played Modern Warfare 2 for, I played it for like, you know, almost 25 days. That's like the, whatever the, the score thing says. Um, you know, when you go look at your leaderboard stats and stuff, that's probably about the same. I probably played Halo 3 for about a similar amount of time. So, Halo 3 was, was a big part of my, big part of my life and Xbox career when I was playing it. Um, and I was, I, I felt like I was pretty good. I was, I got to, if you, if you're familiar with Halo 3, I got to level 45, um, out of 50. And for whatever reason, I could not get past 45. I made like separate accounts and stuff and tried to rank them up. I always could get to 45. 45 was easy, but after 45, I just went unclutch. But anyways, guys, so Halo 3 was a big part of my uh, Xbox career. And, um, and then when Halo Reach came out, it was like, it just was, it just blew some major turds. And yeah, so I just kind of stopped playing Halo after that. And also because I had started playing Call of Duty, I lost as a little interest in Halo, um, and and a lot of my skill from Halo Three was lost to Call of Duty, unfortunately. So I just kind of lost interest in the Halo series when Rage came out because it was kind of a garbage. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a garbage game. So I am I am really excited for Halo Four. Um, I've been watching some, you know, uh, videos from, you know, the MLG pros that have been playing it, the pre-build, the E3 build and stuff, um, and it's just, uh, it seems like it's gonna be, you know, um, take, take the Halo series back to more like the Halo 2, Halo 3 days, so, which is, um, which is a plus, and so I'm just super excited, and one, one thing I'm really hoping for is that, uh, they they put in a ranking system back in the uh, game, like a skill ranking system, because um, Halo, um, what you call it, Halo Reach did not have. It was just like Call of Duty rankings. You just earn XP and rank up. But that's enough about Halo. I'm excited for Halo. The next game, Borderlands 2. Oh my goodness! If you've never played Borderlands, you should go play it right this instant. It was definitely one of the funnest game, funnest campaigns I've like ever played, and all the craziness and weapons and customizable nonsense that happens in that game it's just it's it's a good time um so borderlands 2 is definitely like i don't even know one of if <laughs> halo 4 and borderlands 2 are definitely up there they could be switched out as number one and number two so i'm just i'm just super excited for borderlands i don't know about you guys but borderlands 2 looks like it's going to be even better than the first one they've got more guns um, a different like little um, I don't know how to say rank class ranking up system just so like in the campaign you got to uh, rank up your uh, your character there's like a they have a ranking tree I should I guess I should call it and it was uh, you know you ranked up your character and you know whatever you had you know your character did certain things and whatnot but anyway so it looks like a, a new a new tree system so it looks pretty BA and um, I don't know, just looks, uh, Borderlands 2 just looks, I don't know, amazing. And it comes out, I think that's the first game that comes out out of the, uh, three. Um, but now let's talk about, a little bit about Black Ops 2, which, um, I'm, I'm still pretty excited for because, you know, after playing Modern Warfare 3 for a while and going back to Black Ops, I realized that Black Ops really isn't that bad of a game. Now, I'm, I'm not gonna lie that Ghost and some of the, some of the stupid perks kind of, kind of frustrate me, but, you know, it's just, uh, you know, that's that's the way the cookie crumbles, I guess. So, but other than that, Black Ops is really not a bad game. So, I don't know. I'm just, I'm the trailers and stuff, the futuristic kind of thing that Black Ops 2 has got going on. It just really looks looks interesting. And I just hope that it's going to be more, uh, Black Ops will be more, you know, I don't know, competitive. Maybe it'll be picked up back again with the, uh, the MLG circuit. And so, um, yeah, but, you know, I just, I'm, those games is what I'm looking forward to. Halo 4, Borderlands 2, and Black Ops 2. I'm ready. Anyways, guys, um, that's the end of the gameplay slash commentary. So, 
Um, if you guys like this video, be sure to like the video, um, subscribe to my channel, and yeah, comment if you want to. Peace out.